Okay, so now we've done practically everything. Said practically, uh, now the um, hard stuff is gonna come. Uh, so what you need now is a bullet. Um, you can model a bullet yourself. It's pretty easy. Um, you can also download one on the internet if you want to, but uh, it's best if you can model it. It's always satisfying. Uh, okay, so I've got a bullet here. Just import that. Uh, yeah, these two. Okay, so now it's lined up uh, in the AWP. So wh what we're going to do for now is hide it in the cannon. That's what I did. Scale it down a little. Okay, it's hidden in the cannon now, we can't see it. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, keyframe this. Uh, so we'll set up auto key here and press set the key here so it starts in the cannon and go to frame. Well, it depends on how you want to do this. Uh, I went. I did quite a lot of frames to do some nice uh, slow mo effects, but let's do to 30 just to show you the principle of this. Okay, so frame zero, it's in the cannon. Frame 30, it goes over there. Now you see the bullet is moving to point A to point B. Okay, so once that is done, um, yeah, we need this rotating actually to make it look, you know, realistic. So we'll go to frame zero. Frame zero, it's rotating zero degrees, and tell it to go on frame thirty. It will rotate. Uh, let's say 750 750 okay so is this actually working don't think so okay so we'll have to uh, modify the hierarchy again. Uh, so select the bullets, hierarchy, effects, pivots, send to two objects. There you go. And now it's working. working. Okay, so we've got the effect now. Um, now what we'll need to do is um, add a camera. So come here in uh, uh, camera. Um, so you can, let's use a free one. Let's use a free one. You can also use a target uh, camera so it targets around the bullets but we'll use a free one it's always I prefer this because you just well free <laughs> okay so get the camera here wait right. press T go faster go in the top view and L W uh sorry 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 uh P again perspective okay so now you have the camera here 
uh, we'll slide it slightly here we'll set a keyframe just here we'll go back to the full view um, window so press LW go here right click cameras camera 1 and go to here and do smooth highlights okay so now you can you now every time you move the camera you get the upper view okay so now we'll animate the the camera uh, let's rotate this a bit okay so yeah we've got the bullet firing at frame zero so it will start immediately if you want to slow this down you know have a have a close up on the soldier and uh then the bullet firing you can you you can just slow this down um wait let's go here modify list okay my bullet is called line nineteen and twenty select those two just move this to ten or yeah fifteen and slide this yeah to fifty okay so now to frame 0 to 15 there will be nothing and then 15 to 50 it will fire the bullets so what we can do is go to with a camera uh, do a close up on the soldier okay so now to frame 0 to 15 it will do a close-up and then from fr frame 15 you have the fire the sorry the bullet firing thing from the A AWP so we'll just have to follow this bullet with the camera so go to frame 25 try to make as much uh, space between the keyframes as you can to make it smooth okay thirty there's our bullet thirty five move it again there you go. Let's see how that looks like. Well, we don't actually see the bullets here, so we'll delete this keyframe. Well, that's good results. Um, maybe frame 25 go backwards a bit do a nice close up on the bullets Delete this keyframe to make it smoother. Make this one a bit closer. Okay, so we've got a pretty nice looking uh, bullet now. Uh, let's let's render this to see how it looks like. Oops, yeah. Uh just rendered another view. Uh so go to render setup and press render.
Okay, so there's the CT soldier, there's the bullet, you can't really see that much, but um, yeah, that's the basic thing. Okay, so now you'll just have to render this. So go to render setup, go to range, and uh, our thing is uh, goes to frame 0 to let's say 40. Custom here, uh, HDTV 1280 by 720. Save file. So just choose a file. I always um, I always put this in a single file. So uh, let's name this CSS it's 3D. And format. Uh, ch uh, yeah, choose PNG image file. Uh, so we can have a PNG sequence. It's uh, very useful. Uh, I'll explain you why uh, later on After Effects. Uh, RGB uh, 48 bits, uh, no alpha channel needed. Okay, so then Wender. And I'll see you guys on uh, After Effects.